It's McKenchy Critiques. It is McKenchy Critiques. Let's get something straight yeah. It's called McKenchy Critiques. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Mackenzie Critiques, Mackenzie Dick Rides Fair Anime. Welcome back to another live reaction of Rose of Versailles episode 3. We're finally fucking continuing this greatness. You might have noticed I've dropped a whole bunch of fucking animes uh, today uh, all at once because Ramadan's around the corner, so I don't know how frequently I'll be able to record the subsequent episodes. But I thought I'd just dump a fucking stimulus package. These shows I'll be doing, you know, so you might have noticed Princess Tutu, Rose of Versailles, Psycho Pass. Roni Kenshin, this obviously. I recap myself on my on the first two episodes. I was actually watching back my first two reactions and I accidentally started a reaction to episode two when I realized I actually uh, already reacted to it. So, you know, Louis, uh, Marie Antoinette, um, uh, Oscar's been put in charge of Marie Antoinette as the commander of the Royal Guard because she's getting married to Louis the 15th, 14th, something like that. It's a political marriage between Austria and France. Uh, Fucking Marie Antoinette is completely naive. She doesn't know how to navigate a political landscape, what the reason is. You know, she has, she doesn't know who Louis is. These are all arranged marriages for the sake of peace. So we look at things anachronistically. We live in much better times now. You know, we don't need to necessarily have political marriages, which is why it's okay for Harry to marry Meghan Markle and all that. Because, you know, an and, and age of consent back then on marriage was much smaller. So she's 14, right? So... Back then it was a necessity, it was just the way things were. We only look anachronistically at that because we live in more peaceful times where things like this aren't necessary. So if a marriage of a girl at 14 was not, was there to create peace and harmony between two nations, that was a sacrifice that was made. You know, we can't look back and judge. We can judge by today's standards, but not by then. But yeah, Oscar's looking after her, you know, babysitting her as it were. Uh, Duke Orleans, sne sniveling, sneaky bastard, was trying to kidnap Marie Antoinette. Uh, but his plans were thwarted, uh, and and that's 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 really it. So let's get into this greatness, man. It'd be interesting to see the rose of Asai. I like the intro. I remember the intro where she's covered in thorns because the rose may be beautiful, but it has the prickly thorns, man. And that describes uh, Oscar really well. So let's get into this. Rose of Asai, episode three. Come on. I love the intro. I was able to listen to the intro again because when I was accidentally react recording uh, re uh, episode two. Last we saw they were in France, past the Rhine River. Now I'm guessing they're going. She's going back to Austria, or she's sticking around. I mean, she. I know Marie Antoinette didn't like Louis. Louis August. Marie Antoinette was the chapel inside the Versailles Palace. 6,000 nobles and clergy. Clergy. <laughs> Sumptuous. Oh my god, look at that Illuminati pyramid up there, man. <laughs> Marriage certificate. <laughs> quill. <laughs> China's quill. How pretentious those things were. Omen, is that an omen? <laughs> Come on, man. What? Pull off the mercy. <laughs> really? It's kind of dramatic, this is. Yeah, people look at it as a bad omen, man. These fucking nobles, man. What, really? This is how this episode started? She got ink blot on a marriage certificate and it's like... <laughs> Love it. I know I'm gonna fucking love this show, man. Just like I love those first two episodes. Badawa, badawa. I know this intro. Okay, 
ルと生まれたパラワバラは気高かくさえてパラワバラは Bara wa kita kakakku saite. Bara wa bara wa. What man can come close to this fucking Oscar? She's surrounded by thoughts, but maybe she needs she needs it. You know what I mean to navigate this landscape. Episode three: A spark in Versailles. <laughs> a spark indeed, fam. Look at them stallions! Look at them stallions! There's Andres, Andre, Mademoiselle. Oh, just Saba! I felt so bad for the help back in you know back in times like these, because even if it wasn't their fault, it was the fault of their ward, of their charge. Uh, they would get beats. <laughs> Which is why it just is such a fucking difficult position for Roscoe to be in. Did you become amazing popular in the court? Wow. Make it a name. All the. <laughs> Under it. I don't. Like, <laughs> I know they raised him as a boy. This lady Oscar, nice. She's also dashing and attractive. Oh wow! <laughs> they're not. They 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 into dudes, right? But how many sense do they? It's it's almost like she makes for such a dashing dude as well, even though she's a lady. If only she were a man, I wouldn't leave her alone. But the part, the, the what makes her a, a dashing, beautiful dude, is that she looks like she is a woman. So what? You into women now? <laughs> See, I don't get this <laughs> because you are not behaving. Stop that! Oh. <laughs> Oh wow, man! I mean, she's naive. She has to learn all this, man. <laughs> Next up, the king's daughters, the crown prince's young sister. <laughs> what does she know, man? Wait for me, the high strength of the court subject. Bust out the scroll your mum gave you. That that scroll that the oh fuck that scroll that the mum gave. <laughs> she feels tall right now. You ain't ain't gonna feel so tall in practice. So yeah, the, the scroll her mum gave her should should help her with all this. Dramatic this this show is, because back in back then aristocracy they always had really um, dr like dramatic reactions to things. Look at the light, look at my lips. <laughs> Stream princess, refined and beautiful. The thing is, this this chick, all I mean is that dignity and fortune. This could chick could have been anyone, but it's because she's dressed up like she's festooned herself with all this fucking finery. It's it's basically charisma, like like a false charisma. <laughs> You're told that someone is important, right? You're someone's important. You dress them up a bit, and then you thinking, shit, I'm I'm in awe. They could literally be anyone. It's like celebrity culture nowadays. Mm -hmm. Ah, the ballroom dance. <clears throat> <laughs> Louis. 
Still early days, man. You gotta get to know each other, man. But I say you gotta watch your, you gotta watch your, um, the etiquette, fam. Oh, fuck. That's a woman. That's a woman. <laughs> Amazing, curvaceous, but somehow a vulgar woman. <laughs> you got that by just uh, the look. Wow! <laughs> Blanked. Let's see how this is fine as well. <laughs> That'll get a few points. <laughs> you bloody wenches, man! <laughs> I hate this, man. Like, I, I, I like this, but as mean Countess Dubarry, no woman that can't persist because of... the way the how fucking um, she's one of a lot of people like that. She was the queen. You gotta fucking lay down the law now, man. She's gonna let the puff her chest out, man. <laughs> that happened when Lady Andrew Lanza with Madame de Bray said. Shit, man. This is like a creatures, like, it's weird. Like, you're looking at creatures signing each other up here, man. It makes me think every day that humanity is like before the prostitute sells her body to men for money. And women, like I say, women are gonna get it shaved or not in this show, man. Reformatories, wow. With that money, she deceived the prestigious noble Count Dubarry. Killed the Count by with poison the next day. This is, is this true? Or is this just fucking people telling, telling tales? Because they're jealous of her looks. <laughs> poison. Became a Countess, she when he came to court. Oh wow! Indulges in luxury. What do you mean? You all indulge in luxury. It's controlled by that woman. Okay. So whatever she likes, if she would queen her, disgust her. Okay, so you're gonna have to fucking. Uh, Assert your own authority. So, so, so it's like a rival, yeah? <laughs> Shit, man. You gotta watch out for her, man. Nah, she can't even be ignored, man. She can't be ignored if what they say is true. <laughs> Do not get involved. I think actually they're right. They sh she should be ignored, but you, you, she can't. The pride will let her ignore. Oh my god. Cleave. They focus on that cleave. This is the fucking look you gave her, fam. <laughs> is this. Show written by a male or a woman, man or a woman. Somebody let me know, because it it will tell me a lot about the way they these they're being depicted here. Pretty popular. Let's capture the hearts of every palace on a day. 
Yeah. What this reminds me of is that film with the. Um, that is not a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so is he meant to be strawberry blonde? Just a little hissy fit. All the designers in the world ain't gonna change what's in your fucking heart, man. <laughs> I love the voice acting. They really commit. This reminds me of the that that a film that came out. <laughs> what does this remind me of? What's that fucking film that got the Oscar, man? Talking to Oscar. <laughs> They're trying to one up each other like a fucking. She's like a peacock right now. She's the gorgeous dress before. Look how fickle. Look how fickle these chicks are, man. See, mashallah though, back when women saw beauty as being fully dressed. Mashallah. Cold. She never talks to us. Now she's got now this is a fucking third wheel now. <laughs> to be wary of. He was raised as a dude, that's why. You don't have to talk, but to protect the French royal family. See, it must be so difficult for... I mean, Oscar didn't want to suppress her femininity, but she was kind of thrust into this position. What does it say though when you have to suppress your femininity to get anywhere? Yeah, you know I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, she's effective at her job. You and Nanny's grandson, I'd punch the <laughs> Oh, I like it. Fucking hell, man. She's she's definitely stuck in a place where it's just very difficult for her, man. I do get it, like. She wishes she got kind of part of a wishes she could partake, but she has to put that aside. What she wants aside. Oh, I didn't know what position I'm in. Look how animalistic this is, man. Alpha and the beta and you know pack mentality, fickle nature, like animals, you know what I mean? Please tell me now. Look at how fucking they came, man. <laughs> look fickle, look how fickle they are. For oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> look at them boy her off, man. <laughs> she told you, man. She told you who's fucking big hen on campus, man. Man, I, I, she's likely to do something fucking stupid. Dubari is, man. Who's the redhead now? I'm in front of everybody. Fuck, man. What a wench, man. Get, she's used to fucking everyone kissing her ass. Just only to you, Papa. <laughs> Oh, 
the child is barely 14. You should underestimate her. <clears throat> I have to wait till she addresses to me. The red headed squares are challenging me. <laughs> Dudes were happy back then as long as they're getting the fucking end away, man. Fucking hell, I see. They, they, no matter what she does, there's there's some. Her, you just can't get on her rank. There's still going to be that rank between you, man. She's afraid of the new model. You know what I mean? The pretty young new model. So fickle aristocracy was back then. Yeah, I mean, look at fucking Henry VIII. I knew he wanted, wanted a son, but still, he probably went through women like that anyway. Maybe the son it was an excuse. And in fact, maybe these women didn't want to give him any kids. They didn't want to give him any kids because they found out what fucking dickhead he was. <laughs> I love this man courtroom drama and raw courtroom drama you know what this I keep look let me pause this for a second let me pause this for a second because I can I've got that ability because I'm on fucking OBS now this reminds me of that film what film is it that I've just watched fucking won the Oscar uh, period what's it called period drama just on the tip, I'm OCD. It's on my tip of my thing, man. Period drama. Wins Oscar. What is it called? What was it called? Fuck's sake. Uh, what was it called? Olivia Coleman. Yeah, that she was her. She won it for. Uh, what's the film called, man? film called Yo, it was uh, got on a golden globe it was called what was the film man it's not the fucking the crown it's something it's the f I know what the film is I saw it the favorite that's it the favorite with Emma Stone and Rachel, Rachel Weisz the favorite this reminds me of the favorite that's it alright let's go Three, two, one, come on. Do you find the reason that she forgot to address me? <laughs> you don't know it's on purpose. She's read your number, fam. She's read your fucking number, fam. I love this. This is going to be such a great anime to watch, man. This is going to bring the golden age back. Man, she really loves to fucking... Brace shit. Oh, oh, come the fuck on, man. That costs money, fam. Backing up the Countess no matter what. Yeah, I mean, there, there was, you just can't... No matter how popular you are, there's just you can't surpass the rank of Antoinette. She's no longer. Judge's family. If Majesty dies now. Hmm. Man, like the plotting begins straight away, man. And I get it, because these two nations have been joined. Like, matrimony was a way to join these nations. But the plotting, like, big, has begun already. It's like, it's about picking sides, right? Who, who do you back in case something happens? What do you mean, which side is she taking? Oh, okay. I just stand back and watch this entertaining ladies duel. Oh, wow. That's, that's rather interesting, man. <clears throat> I mean, it does build character. Antoinette, Antoinette's gonna have to learn, learn the hard way. 
She's gonna have to play the game. Game of Thrones, fam. I hope you. Oh come on, man! What's Antonia done to you? She's, she's barely fucking. They've got the seat warm, man. Oh my god! Was it to get rid of fucking uh, the watchful eye of uh, Oscar? I hope. I hope not. Because fucking Oscar will fuck you up. And there's a lady waiting for me to do Barry. What? How should she trying to force me to her side? Who? What? Did she get hired? I mean, yeah, you can't pick your family. So if the if your mom had to do it, if the mom had to do it, then she had to do it. <clears throat> See. See, they, they, they're, they're sneaky, man. They know their weaknesses because they know where fucking she came from. And getting help from fucking... Getting help from fucking Orleans. Orleans a fucking dickhead, man. Man, already the drama's begun, man. <laughs> Everything's so dramatic, man. I love it. Everything's so dramatic. I love it. I love how old animes were just dramatic. There was there was actual meaning there, you know what I mean? Even though it was funny, because I'm looking at this, I'm actually I should be blamed looking at this anachronistically, right? It, it, animes aren't like this anymore, but they were they were telling a great story. It's just by today's standards, it's really funny the way they presented it. I'm gonna end it there. I don't wanna watch the previews. I'm gonna go into each episode fresh. Alright, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be doing singles or doubles for this. I I'm going to try and do doubles for this. If I can't do it often or regularly during Ramadan, then maybe the next one will be a double. You know, I'm, uh, This is going to be a mainstay on the channel. Get used to it. Get used to the animes I'm doing now. Get used to it. Pick one. You know, I don't give a fuck if you, you, uh, you ain't seen it but you don't want to watch it or this, that. Or you've seen it. Either watch it with me or take it as a... Take it as a hint. Oscar, take it as a hint to start these shows if I'm doing it. If, don't be, don't sit on your fucking asses. Oscar, okay guys. Uh, peace out.